Hey guys, welcome back to Ari the Stag. TR Tony here and young Ari himself. Morning all. Morning all. A bright sunny day. What's one of those? It's pretty rare to see the sunshine these days and no rain. Got the cream on. <laughs> got the cream on. Got the cream on. And we also got the shades on. Uh, you may notice the Ari the Stag uh, designer sunglasses. Uh, very uh, uh, attractive kind of uh, proposition. And uh, anyway, today we've, uh, we've come out to see the Stag. Uh, Harry's going to run off in a minute and take it up the garage. Uh, UES 591S we've had for a little while now, uh, but we've not actually had a proper look underneath. So uh, Harry's got a mate down the road. He's going to take it up to the ramp. Take it up, chuck on the ramp, see what's going on underneath. And see what's going on. Report so that's, any findings. Yeah, so uh, he's going to hop in a minute and just go off. And then um, when he comes back, we'll have a look at taking this roof off, which I think has only been off once so far, hasn't it? Now it's just to check if the other one works. Let's see if the other one works, yeah. So that's the cunning plan. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get going then. I'll see you in a minute. I can't go because I'm, I'm not insured. So uh, Harry's going to go off and then uh, he'll be back and we'll have a look at the roof and uh, do a bit of filming whilst we're driving. So yeah. Let's go. We'll go. <laughs> And uh, no, not quite. Started first time earlier. There you go, has started now. Just listen to that V8, guys. It's sounding really good. And uh, off he goes. Okay, in drive. And away he goes. Just listen to that verbal, guys. It's fantastic, isn't it? There he goes, smell of vision. Okay, so we'll see Harry in a little while when he comes back from the garage and uh, see what he can report. And I can hear him before I can see him. He's actually heading back down the road right now. And uh, here he is, Harry the Stag himself. I wonder what the news is. And here we are back at base. There we go. That's. Uh, get his report in two seconds when he jumps out. I've been waiting here a bit like an expectant father almost. All right, Harry, so uh, you've been up the garage. What was the, uh, what was the view? A few bits that we need to do. So there's a few bushes that have perished. You can see yeah. from the exhaust. Yeah. It's held on with cable ties. Oh, is it? <laughs> okay. Is but I've got a little video that we'll, we'll splice into this. You'll be able to see it. Yeah, um, okay. All right. Brilliant, mate. Well, that's good. So overall, good bill of health or? It's solid underneath. Is it? Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's good news. As we said, it used to be yellow. Yeah, okay, so right. It's yeah. more of the paint underneath, but yeah. it's, it actually looks really clean Look, and tidy underneath. No, good, okay. Well, let's cut to that and have a quick look and see how it looks underneath. So we're underneath UES. Everything actually looks not too bad, to be fair. There are a few little oil leaks and a few concerns, so the, the bushes down here are a little bit shot. So we'll get those replaced. Brakes are in really good condition to be fair, so they're fairly new. Shock absorbers look fairly good. You can see the ball joint on this side as well is practically gone. So they need replacing. Over that, I'm quite surprised. It's nice and clean under here. It's nice and tidy. You can see at one point the car was yellow. Rear shock bushes looked a bit perished as well, so they could probably do with replacing. And just for peace of mind, the bushes on the exhaust, you can see it actually held on with a cable tie. So we'll get a set of those, we'll get those replaced as well. Other than that, it all seems to be in really good order under here. So we can start enjoying it now. Okay, so now having got safely back and uh, you've seen underneath, uh, we're now going to attempt to take the roof off, um, which should be interesting. There is um, some instructions on the... Uh, yeah, on the sun visor inside, one of them. Also for the hood to be raised as well, which is interesting. So we've never actually got two levers at the front there, I know. Underneath, which you have to release. Pull them back to you, I think. Yeah, that's it. Both sides out. And then there's going to be something behind you. That's right, you've got a lever either side there which locate into the uh, things there. Is that, is that it? Is there one on the rear? I'm not sure. <laughs> What's it say on the instructions? That's like the soft top. Yeah, there is a pin in the back, isn't there, that the soft top goes into. I know that, a plunger and a thingy. Um, Not 
as I can see. Everybody's uh, watching us, telling us, you haven't done so and so. Just mind the headlining. Okay, I'm gonna have to break off and give you a hand. Yeah. <laughs> Bear with us yeah. and we'll, next shot hopefully will be the roof off or a broken window. <laughs> Right, well as if by uh, the wonders of modern science, um, it was just those two levers on the uh, gutter at the top, at the front, and then the two levers at the back by the little quarter light windows. If I pan round now, you can see we now have a stag with a uh, roof off. And we were fortunate actually to get um, a wind screen as well with this car. These are about two, three hundred pound I think, so we did very well. It's also got a, they call them a tonneau cover. Uh, but it goes across the back, I guess that hooks into the back somehow, some way, through these clips here. Um, no, okay. no, all right. Sits. In fact, you can still have passengers in the back with that in. And actually, if you let that dangle down there, that stops the wind coming back around the back of the seats up your backside. And you've got Velcro straps on the top here. So this will be interesting to go around the corner in a minute. Sorry, I can only do this one-handed, Harry, so maybe you can have a go at it. But doesn't it look great in the sunshine, folks? This is what classic car driving is all about. Wind in your hair, bees in your teeth. Coronavirus what? Coronavirus what? Yeah, well, at least we're socially distanced, even though we have to got the roof down. Yeah, only one of us are allowed in the car at times, otherwise we wouldn't be a metre apart. No. Well, you can sit in the boot. <laughs> That's yeah, looking good. Might actually dry it out a bit as well. Oh, look, and the uh, we appear to have <laughs> the uh, cover that we've just taken off flying around in a vortex around the house. Right, okay, so I think we're ready for a bit of a driver, aren't we? Let's do it. Never done this before. So, before we thought we'd get going, we're just checking to see what the hood's like. We have looked at this at Paul's up at Alton, and um, okay, you're hooking up the uh, tonneau cover there underneath that's how you do it I guess I guess you have to for security to make sure that uh, people can't just nick your luggage or whatever if you've um, used that for storage when you're touring um, and then obviously the metal tonneau hook will come back on it careful not to break it Harry yeah. don't want to strain it okay I think you have to push it down quite hard just to make it go in Maybe both sides. You do one side, I'll do the other. Yeah. Bear with me. Okay. Go. <laughs> I'm in my side. Are you? Yeah. I'm not sure I'm in my side. Have another look. Again, single-handedly. Okay. Well, we're pretty much there. I think we'll... Uh, Check it out in a second. You know, like you're taking your little rent boy out, innit? Right, I won't repeat what Harry just said, but basically, we are now gentlemen into our cars. Harry's gonna start it. Get some welly. Still got the cluck, uh, choke out. There we are. Off. Out on the road. Exciting. Yep, mirror signal manoeuvre. Feels quite cocooned in here actually with that um, air deflector. And off we go, down the road. <laughs> Blue sky, sunshine, what do you reckon? Not bad, this is it. Harry the Stag! First time in the soft top. Yeah, it is. Well, actually, it feels no like top. No top. We're topless. We are topless, I can prove that. I'll shove the camera over the top. There you go. So again, they probably wouldn't have heard that. Okay. We get a lot more views. We call it topless bird at the start <laughs> of the video. Yeah, it's really good. It won't be Ali the nag, don't worry. <laughs> I'll tell your mother. Well, I must say, Harry, it's a very comfortable ride. It's actually not. It's all right, isn't it? It's nowhere near as windy as the noises I thought it might no, be. No, no. I can feel a bit of a draft coming up my arm. That's probably more to do with the door seal or the fact that the doors are hanging off. I'm not quite sure, but uh, no, it's a very pleasurable drive, I must say. Well, you're driving on. I'm, I'm passengering. Um, that wind deflector, I think, is worth its weight in gold. Absolutely brilliant. Um, 
we will, I guess, have to try it at some point without it just to see what effect it is, but I might end up with a very stiff neck. <laughs> uh, chance will be a fine thing. There you go. So, Harry, the stag's in the driving seat and we're going like a good one. Very good. It's just really brilliant. And uh, so proud. Such a lovely car, it really is. It's a joy to be out and about in the sunshine. A long time coming. It's been raining for months, hasn't it, mate? It really has. It's been raining for months. But uh, here we are, enjoying stags. Wonderful. And listen to that burble. It's awesome. <laughs> we got a 40 miles an hour there, it sounded like 90. Yeah, incredible isn't it? And what a day to enjoy the car, it really is a fantastic spring day at last. An actual fact, um, today is the first day that uh, Ari himself has actually driven this stag because for those of you that uh, may remember a few weeks back when we first bought it, we ended up in all sorts of shenanigans trying to get the blinking thing home. How we ended up driving it down the M11 at about 15 miles an hour. At 15 miles an hour. The and noisiest uh, talk of uh, you've ever heard. <laughs> um, so this is actually the first day he's driven it. So let's just ask him a few questions about his first impressions. All right, Harry. So uh, first day of driving the UES 591S. What's the uh, what's the real take on it? It's very very smooth. It's very nice to be honest. It's yeah. The gearbox is nice and lovely, it has a lovely reconditioned gearbox should be. Yeah. Um, it's not pulling left or right, it's, it's sitting nicely with no choke, so it's idling nicely. Brakes well, it goes well. Yeah. Everything you want out of a car. Fantastic. And it's got no roof. And it's got no roof. <laughs> it's a little bit nippy around the ankles, but yeah. we got to remember it is still March. And to be fair, we haven't actually got the heater on, but um, we could do that in a minute if we wanted to. How does it compare to the MG BGT Triumph Stag support vehicle, would you say? It's, it's very different. Obviously, this is a much bigger car. It's a much deeper sound to the engine, but yeah, the MG as well, that feels a little bit nippier because of how small it is, whereas this is more for noise and show, I guess. It is a GT, isn't it? It's a cruiser, really. It's, yeah. Um, you can understand how people can go out and travel across Europe if we could, not that we can currently, um, in a car like this, if it's up together, and certainly, you know, when things get a bit better worldwide, it's something we want to do. Um, we'll travel across Dorset. Travel across Dorset, yes. Not across the borders, just Dorset. Um, the uh, space behind, I know, is supposed to be for uh, two seats, and um, that's now under the cover, as you can see behind us, over our shoulder. So if you were to travel abroad and there was Two of you presume to get quite a bit of case luggage in there as well as the boot, you'd be all right. But, uh, we'll hang yeah. back a bit, we'll let the car in front of us get ahead of it, yeah, and then we'll wang it, then we'll wang it all within the limit, of course. Happy days, ready, hang on, steady, steady, go. Oh, yeah. Marco Rooney, that's pretty cool. Again, not breakneck, but still, break still pretty cool. It's all about the noise. It's all about the noise. What a day. <laughs> Arsenal airfields. Yeah. Plane going off there. Lots of grounded planes there, unfortunately. We're down at uh, Hearn Airport. And uh, still a few cars on the road, which is good to see. And uh, I note Harry is... Uh, Tactically getting us in the outside lane. I wonder what's about to happen as the it's pretty obvious. As, the, as the lights go green. Um, just depends if anybody else fancies a bit of a go, doesn't it? We're all next to a VW. No, we're not. We're off and we are away. Oh yes. Oh, listen to that. That is fantastic. Oh yeah. <laughs> Top work, Harry the Stag. And. Uh, Really feel the front end raise when you do that. Yeah, you can. There's so much torque in that uh, V8. Quite amazing, isn't it? And uh, Ari himself complaining here. What were you just saying? 
it's, it's, it's getting a bit colder now. Is it? You got wind up your trouser leg and somewhere else you just said. Right. That's not repeatable. The old gentleman's sausage. <laughs> we shouldn't have it out, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Car excites me that much. Yeah. <laughs> well, as I say, I'm not sure we've got the heating on or the blower going, but you could do that. So uh, maybe we'll try that, see if we'll it makes it a bit again. of a difference. Well, people might just say you're a bit of a wimp lad. You know, no, there is that. It is an open top car, should be blinking while enjoying it. <laughs> and for those watching in black and white, we're now going the other way up past the airfield and um, there is a Ryanair flight about to come out by the looks of it. We're going to have him. <laughs> we're going to beat the Ryanair flight. Who says flights are quicker? <laughs> That's a good shot of Ryanair, there we are. We're flying past him now. All we need is a pair of wings now, Harry. Okay. Right there, pilot Bob. Pilot Trumpet, Pilot Bob, is he in there? Oh. Very good, Harry, nice one. There we go, and uh, I don't know what speed we're doing now, but it's uh, 60. cruising quite nice. The national speed limit. Just mind the cyclist, Harry. Careful. And it's um, absolutely cruising along. It's a beautiful day, as we've said, and uh, Turn the heater on now, it is a bit warmer. Feel it coming from somewhere. <laughs> it's where it's going, that's a problem, mate. Awesome. It's nice having an automatic as a... It is, yeah, it does save you changing lots of gears, especially in... In the MG, I'd be flicking traffic. around everything here. Yeah. Whereas this is quite um, smooth. There's only three gears. This also holds the road slightly better. So roundabout back up there, that takes you towards the airport. Yeah. It's quite easy to uh, put the back end of the MG out there. Is it? And have it sort of going sideways, whereas this holds on really nicely. You talk very authoritatively about that, as if you've uh, sent it sideways a few times. It, it is a fun roundabout. <laughs> yes. Even if it is an accident. <laughs> yes. Never drive like that, obviously. No. Officer. <laughs> I swear, I swear they're drunk officer. <laughs> if they are caught for a bit, you can take mum out in it later. Yeah. Or James, see if he wants to have come out in it, and then you yeah. can drive it then with the roof off as well, because it is cool. Yeah, it is. Like, it you is. sort of look in the head, and then you sort of look up, you're like, oh, oh the roof's gone. <laughs> I'll have to edit that bit out, Harry. Oh, sorry. I didn't, <laughs> didn't realise we were still recording. You wally. <laughs> we'll, have yes. to, we'll have to get a swear noise that we can put into a beat of some description. Yeah, so uh, as, as he's saying, look, blue sky. Awesome. Not that you should lean back like this and just look up, but. Pardon? <laughs> Watch where you're going. And once again guys, don't forget if you'd like your Ari the Stag badge of honour, your um, tax disc sized double sided window sticker, all you have to do is to go onto our website www.arrythestag.com forward slash badge hyphen of hyphen honour and uh, you'll get one free of charge. Like and subscribe the videos and we'll send you one out. Oh yeah, absolutely. And just arriving back home, that's been a nice little spin out, hasn't it? And uh, the heater did work, I'm quite pleased about that. So, uh, well done, Harry. Good man. And just to finish off, guys, um, a very warm welcome to the Duke family. Uh, Simon Duke sent in a photograph, which I'll show you in a moment, of his uh, beautiful inky yellow Triumph stag, which I believe used to be his dad's uh, in Perth, Australia. Uh, Simon is now in um, uh, Dubai and uh, Terry is in Australia, I believe, so I may get corrected on that. But uh, they sent me in a lovely photograph the other day of all three generations looking and watching Ari the Stag. I think it was the one when we picked up UES 591S from the auction. So uh, top work, guys. Thank you very much. Big shout out for Terry. Uh, there's a Trump involved as well. Trump Terry, is that right? I'm not quite sure. No doubt you'll put me right. Anyway, to all the Duke family, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for your support. And uh, we'll see you online on Ari the Thag very soon, I'm sure. And I'll finish off with a picture of our Duke. Uh, Duke uh, being Downpipe Duke. All right, guys. So uh, I think that was quite entertaining. Uh, thanks, Harry, for being uh, chief test pilot. It's That's the right. first time we've been round the block with the roof off. And, uh, first time we've had the roof off that until. Was, uh, that was really, really good. So, uh, yeah, we're going to probably do a couple more drives out later with various members of the family. Uh, trumpet pilot Bob has not been in the car yet with the roof off and nor has 
Ali the nag, bless her. So I'll give get her a both in at once. Get, give her a trip around the block later. So uh, there Take we are. Take her out in the car as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good stuff, guys. Well, thanks for watching Ali the Stag. Hope you enjoyed uh, our drive around uh, sunny Bournemouth and Dorset today. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, as we've said before. Uh, badge of honour is there on the website whenever you want it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you online on Ari the Stag. Very soon. Very soon. Thanks, Ari. Cheers, guys. Good lad. See you guys. All the best. <laughs>